In 2015, I was forced to flee my home with my two daughters. Um, and we had to go live in a domestic violence shelter. I then was able to divorce my ex-husband, but this left me in a very terrible financial situation to the point where it was like, um, we, you know, we stayed in shelters. Um, we were eventually accepted into the, to a, it was like a HUD transitional living program. So, so, um, so we're in the transitional housing. Um, I had no car. Whenever I needed to access food for my family, so grocery shopping, like literally just a simple basic human right, grocery shopping. I either had to walk to um, a smaller grocer that is known to be in like low, low income neighborhoods um, where there is frequently rotted fruit and vegetables. Um, I had to walk there and either tie the bags to my daughter's stroller or I would have to take like a lift, a taxi or a couple buses or whatever to go to um, a bigger grocery store. So that was, like I said, it was some years ago, but I'm still seeing those same people on the street right now. And their kids have grown up and they are walking down the street, holding their hands, laden down with bags. And nobody's doing anything about it. We don't have grocery stores close to us. The ones that we do have close to us, they are, it's subpar. It's shameful. It's absolutely, people are making posts on Facebook talking about how bad the grocery store is. And if you shop there, you don't love your kids. And they don't understand that I love my kids and that's why I'm making sure they have healthy food. So Danny is the advocacy coordinator for the Community Action Task Force. And that's really important. And it, it speaks to what I think is needed in communities, which is the capacity to bring more people into the work. So Danny's job is to uh, tell the story about the Healthy Hartford Hub and this broader uh, vision for the Community Action Task Force and to uh, do it in such a way that more residents want to be part of it. They understand that um, their ability to change their own community is really the essence of community health and well-being. So Danny's job on social media and going to parent meetings and visiting schools and, and uh, you know, showing up on, on Saturdays at farmers markets um, is to really bring people into the work. And on the other side of it, uh, she's working with the institutions, and she's this incredible bridge between the community and the institutions that are supporting the work that I think, again, is a real model for other communities to look to.